Hi, my name is DJ Martin Sky. Uh, as you saw here on YouTube, I have a couple of videos. Not a lot, but I have some of them. Uh, one at the club where I used to work, and one at home when I'm missing what while I'm mixing house music. Uh, just to start, um, I'm doing this video because I found a lot of videos here on YouTube on how to build the uh, riff from the song called Aerodynamic from Daft Punk. Uh, some of them were very interesting, but I found that they were not very really complete for you to do the entire riff. So that's why I'm taking that. Um, first, I'm sorry about the screenshots you are seeing. These are only actually screenshots. I don't have any uh, screen uh, video capture uh, software in my computer. Um, might have one soon, but anyways, that's besides the point. Just to let you know, um, I'm a DJ. I'm not a musician at all. I can't read music I really, really can't. I tried hard, and I'm very bad at it. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, when I compose and when I remix, it's only by ear. So sometimes it's very long. It actually took me approximately an hour and a half to two hours to figure out the riff from Daft Punk. So you see, I'm pretty sure that if I was a musician, I could have done it within uh, maybe 10 to 20 minutes. But anyways, <laughs> it's, it's just for you to let you know that I'm not a musician, so... Don't ask me the, the, the exact notes that I'm playing. Um, they're the ones that you will see. So the first step that, that you have to do when you open up your FL Studio is open up the um, FL Slayer and use the Dist Rock. I believe it's for Distorted Rock or whatever. <laughs> so there you go. Um, then after that, the main thing that you have to know, the only thing that changes uh, in your way through the riff is the slap notes. Uh, the slap notes are the very little notes that you see here that you have to put in every two squares. Um, I don't know how to say it in musician's term, but anyways, you see the screenshot right there. So <laughs> there you go. It helps you a lot. <laughs> um, those are the notes that will move from the first portion of the riff to the second pattern of the riff. So those are the slap notes that you have to place. You, you, ha you have to place them like that as you can see on the screenshot. Uh, then the third step that you have to make is insert the variable notes. So as you can see, uh, there is uh, some notes that go, uh, there is one note that go on on the first of, of each four squares in the step. Uh, they go basically exactly where the kick is. So you place them like you're seeing them right now. I'll let you look at the screen uh, long enough for you to be able to put it, uh, to, to, to place them in your FL Studio if you want to recreate the riff from the song. So those are the variable notes. Those ones will not move actually between the first and the second pattern. The sound changes because of, of the slap notes only. So I hope you had the time to place them. Uh, if not, just put the freaking video on uh, pause. <laughs> there you go. And then, once the first pattern is built, you have to go and clone this pattern. Uh, when you go in your play on your playlist, you take the first pattern and then you do a clone pattern. Now what you'll have to do in the second pattern, you'll have to then, uh, this is the fourth step really, you have to remove the slap notes. But the variable notes stays where they are. They don't move at all, like I was saying. Now the fifth step here is to put back the slap notes. Basically they're just, they're placed the exact same way and then on the first pattern, they're just um, higher instead of lower than the variable notes. So I'll give you a little bit of time here again to, for you to place the slap notes. As you can see, they go at the exact same spot, but one tone higher. That's the only difference between the first and the second pattern. All right, so I hope you had time to place those as well. Uh, if not, as I was saying, you can put the video on pause or uh, listen to it Again, whatever. <laughs> so there you go. Now the sixth step, uh, as you can see, is basically just place the two patterns, one right next to, uh, one right after the other, uh, first to second step, uh, second step after the first one. Anyways, you know what I mean. Um, sorry here, eh? my uh, my uh, 
main song is French. I'm bilingual, but the, I, I'm having a hard time to <laughs> actually do this video in English only. But uh, I hope that you will be very satisfied. Now, once that you've placed both patterns, you can simply click on the little button that, that says song so that you will play the actual song instead of only the pattern. And then you press on the play button. That's pretty easy, right? <laughs> that's the seventh step and that's the easiest one. You press on play and now you can listen to it. Uh, just by the way, uh, you have to put the um, tempo down to approximately 130, 131 BPMs. Uh, on this one, I made it at 130. That, that's, that's the approximate uh, tempo of the original song. Uh, even the original one, I believe it is, is 126 or 125 maybe, but anyways. So then you can play it and you can listen to your result. And there you go. This is what re will result after you did what you saw on this video. Okay, so that was it. As you can hear, it's pretty much the same riff. The sound is not exactly the same, but the FL Slayer distant, Distorted Rock was the one that I found um, the closest sound to the sound that was used by Daft Punk when they made their song. So feel free to leave any comments on this video. As I said, I'm not perfect and I'm not a musician. I'm a DJ. I, I did it by ear only, but I believe this one is... Uh, rocking out. So thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. Ciao.